I would be more than the greatest wizard who ever lived. I would be a god. Why should I? Mistra has dictated the terms of my potential for long enough. Think of all I could achieve. All that I could grant to those whose ambitions are restrained by Mistra's yoke. And I thought you were wise enough to recognize that I am not the man. It seems that we've come to an imp. It's not your... Ah, I will never forget. Farewell, Gale. I hope he still remembers us little people once he's secured godhood. Though he may have to contend with Mistra before that's a foregone conclusion. As for us, well, the future awaits. What comes now? I cannot remember the last time we did not have a grand purpose to work towards. Baldur's Gate burns, and its people tremble. I can't yet turn my back. Not while the city's wounds still bleed. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! What the... Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted. Ah! I, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. He will sorely miss that freedom, I sense. It may be quite some time before we see him again. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. Finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? So are you, my friend, my companion. I adore you. of you, you who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. 
are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Well, soldier, here we are. worked. My engines calmed down. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zariel's going to come at us with everything she's got. Gods. Like clockwork. They'll be on us soon, but there's just enough time. I thought I was done with these. But then, there was you. Imps are fast, but careless. Don't let them tire you out, just get rid of them. And don't forget, you asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back. And this time, I'm not alone. Invitation came, you were hip deep in Lemur slime, swarmed by hell wasps, and about to drive the killing blow on a magma claw. Cutting through the dreadful buzz of the wasps and the screams of the damned, a familiar, comforting voice echoed in your mind. With us, you requested your attendance in Faerun to gather with your friends and allies those who stood against the Absolute at your side. A reprieve from the Blood War. A few hours of respite with the stars above and good company to cheer you. Karlak's heart can take the strain of leaving Avernus for a few short hours, but it might burst with joy to see those friends again. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. On my way. Ah. It's good to meet again. Than any of the patriarch's dreary banquets. Withers has laid out quite a spread of food. The one comprising mostly of bone. Perhaps he wishes to live vicariously through the attack. Now there's a face I know well indeed. Good time for a chat. Well, look who decided to turn up. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. And look at you, straight from the hells, still reeking of brimstone. I take it you've been having fun.
<laughs> Understandable, but try to resist the urge. I don't want to know what your clothes have been through since we last met. Although I do like the style. Tortured armor never does go out of fashion. I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> It turns out no one actually cares about murder, as long as you murder the right people. And apparently I'm rather good at it. <laughs> Let's not get carried away, darling. I'm still me. Perhaps more me than I've ever been. <laughs> Hardly. Good people don't spend as much time lurking in the dark as I do. You know, it's funny. At first, I thought I was trapped by the shadows, cursed to live in them forever. But in time, I realized that darkness is as much a part of me as my fangs. This is only a curse as long as I refuse to embrace the shadows. So, I decided I would. I decided not to be defined by the choices other people made, by what other people did to me. My past may be done, but my present, my future, they're mine. This is who I am, in all my glory, for better and for worse. With that being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say no. But until then, I am happy. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew you were someone special. Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, Maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um... See you later, darling. After everything, this feels nice. A chance to take a breath. Uh, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> oh, at what cost? A prayer or two would suffice. That's so bad. My own friend, the Hellswalker. I thought slaying Vlakith's hunters in the Cliffs of Swords Teeth might be the month's pinnacle. But I was wrong. Being right here, with you, is an infinitely greater pleasure. Were it not for you, I might not have known the value of partnership, connection. I found new allies now. New... friends. People I trust and who trust me in return. We've heard word of a Githyanki outpost hidden deep in Chult, the last of Vlakith's Sword Coast strongholds. I don't suppose you'd consider fleeing the Hells and joining us there to slay every last Sarth and Kithrak. You say stuck, and still you stay. Your devotion to Karlak knows no bounds. Nor, it seems, does your fortitude. You... Impressed me from the beginning, you know. It was my own foolish pride that ever kept me from admitting it. To you, or myself. I... I just wanted you to know that. Now go, mingle while you can. That's the word, right? Mingle? We'll meet again. The Hells are too small to contain a soul as tremendous as yours. So it has. 
And a fine man the hatchling will be. I call him Zahn. Freedom. Before you ask, yes, he is safe. In the care of people I trust. Zahn will be a fine warrior, if he chooses. Or a poet, or an explorer, or a scholar. I was afforded a destiny of my own choosing. When he comes of age, it is only right I give Zahn the same. This is... nice. Yes. I think that's the right word for it. This is... nice. Yes. I think that's the right word for it. Well, there he is. Gale in all his glory. I hope you're happy, the god of ambition. Have you ever heard anything more ridiculous? Not in the least. And who led him straight to such ridiculous notions, hmm? Who left that crown in the river where any foolish wizard could swim down and pick it up? You were looking out for him. I expected better of you. As do I. As do I. I know there's nothing you could have done to stop him. Not really. Once he'd decided to learn nothing from his mistakes, what use were either of our protests? Perhaps you'd be willing to come meet Gail's mother sometime? She misses him so, and I know it would do her heart a world of good to discuss her son with someone who knew him as he was. Jolly good. I'll tell Mrs. Dakarios to be expecting you. Oh, she'll be delighted. Things just haven't been the same without himself cluttering up the place. Enjoy your party, dear. I've heard you quite deserve a celebration. You'd best not have any plans to follow in Gale's footsteps. One god at this gathering is quite enough. Yes, you've got some suggestions about the music choice. <laughs> I find it hard to summon up the trademark pep these days. You have no idea who I am, do you? I thought Withers might have set the stage a little. I owe him a favor, one he is eternally invoking. I thought honoring the worthy was a fair price to pay for Withers to pull me out of the fugue plane. <sighs> Alas, one purgatory to another. Languishing in obscurity. Sirik knew what he was doing when he punished me for that song, the prick. Before I was banished to the fugue plane, I had song prayers coming out the proverbial ears. Guess how many I get now? None. I'm washed up, I'm afraid. No, no, I can see it all over your face. Not a clue who I am. Go 
Go on then. What should I play? Fine. It's your party after all. A night without care. No worry, no obligation. It's been too long. Come now, out with it. It would be a shame to leave a party like this bereft of music too long. Milil. Though if the lack of song prayers is anything to go by, that name carries less weight than it used to. Apologies. I think I got a moat. Carried away, there. Uh, you're hardly to blame. You just want to change up the music, I wager. Go on, then. What should I play? Interesting choice. Very interesting. Anything of use? with friends amidst nature. <laughs> what more could I wish for? Good song, good company, good wine. I wish it could last forever. A beholder. What's cooking?
shit. Oh, my God. He wasn't kidding. Where's well, your mad bastard? You brought us back! <laughs> Commander Zula won't know where the fuck we went! <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to say hi to everyone. Look at them, the beaut. Rest up, soldier. My tin can will be all right for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in six months? She's got a night in her, I think. Any trouble and I'll toddle back off to hell quick as you please. Every time. Enjoy it, soldier. You've earned it. Oh, hey. Before you go, I've been thinking about those blueprints we found. Zariel's probably got a load of Cambians guarding that forge. I'm sure she knows I'll want in. She'll do anything to stop me from fixing this thing. I might have an in with one of the guards, though. An old acquaintance called Flo. Not sure she'll help us, but maybe. We might get to come home permanently, maybe even sooner than we think. It's so good to be back, isn't it? Oh, it smells like... <clears throat> like home. So good to be. I must be careful to not overindulge tonight, lest I lose control and slip into bear form. Engine's cooking hotter here. So good to see you. It's been far too long. I... Hold on a moment. Do you smell that? You take a deep breath, but you don't notice anything beyond the ordinary. Oh, how right you are and how wonderful it is 
I've had so little time for simple pleasures like this in the two months past. Turns out, rebuilding a city requires more than a simple wave of a duke's hand. Bargains must be made. Alliances must be forged. Customs must be considered. Father leaves me to my own devices. Oh, he's got no shortage of advice when I ask for it. Still, I make the decisions I see fit. The ones I think will restore the city to glory. I serve only Baldur's Gate. Not a devil of the first hell. Father's very well, and back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with as brave a heart as ever, and with nary a scolding or lashing. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis, with a few exceptions. Father's pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. I've had more than a few challenges, given the horns sprouting from my head. The people know me as one of the champions who saved their beloved city. They know Raven Guard blood flows through my veins. The Patriarchs, the aristocracy, the councils of Waterdeep and Arm, their arms aren't so wide open. Still, there's no friction that can't be greased with a sly promise or a proposition. Disbanded, to be formed anew. I don't expect a soldier or street sweeper to see through the schemes of a tyrant like Gortash. But the city's lords and ladies were all too eager to abandon their oaths and bend the knee. My father, Older Ravenguard, is now Grand Duke of the Triad, Keeper of the Fist. Cordula Eltan is the Duke of the Sea Tower, a legacy reborn. And I am Will Ravenguard. Grand Duke of the Worm, Heart of the Gate. We will yet be four. Until such time and after, we will enact the will of the People's Parliament. Baldur's Gate is nothing without its citizens, both in the upper and lower. Our duty is to them, and only them. The jewel of the coast will shine ever bright, welcoming the weak and the weary from wherever they hail. We are building new housing, not just shanties, but homes where families can rest their heads, plant gardens, pursue happiness. Amazing what can be done when Parliament and the Council pressure the upper city elites to open their coffers. <laughs> I'm sure the Silver Shields can make do without a few more jeweled crowns. Of course. Never. The Hexes and Eldritch Blasts, losing them to getting used to. They left behind a cold abyss where fire once raged. So I stoked a new one. Now the burning comes from within me, not from the depths of Avernus. Go on, the night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> Cheers to you, cheers to Withers, <laughs> cheers to all of us. A night without care, no worry, no obligation. It's been too long. Cheers to you.
starting to wonder if you'd show up. Hilarious. You could find work as a jester if you stumble upon a noble with more gold than taste. Well, come here, will you? It's been forever. a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Filled out and healthy is what I was going for. Don't tell me you miss living off whatever scraps we found in crates and barrels. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I found a little cottage. Abandoned, half ruined. There's a lot of such places to be found thanks to the Absolute's armies. I've been making it my own. You can come as soon as you please, so long as the lodgers approve of you. Four dogs, eight cats, Nine chickens, six pigeons, four sheep, a milk cow named Daphne, a squirrel who's far too clever for her own good, and a wolf cub I found orphaned in some woods. I've had to do far worse things with my hands. Trust me. This is no burden at all. I don't think I've ever slept more soundly than I have with my menagerie of beasts for company. Just don't tell House in that, or he'll want an invitation. Healing. Learning to live again. It's hard to think of all that was robbed from them, but they're intent on making every day count for double. My mother's mind still drifts every now and again, but she has more good days than not so good days. She taught me her recipe for apple and plum pie, and when I tasted it, I actually remembered it from when I was a little girl. Some things can't be taken from you, it seems. Father's making himself useful, helping me fix up the cottage and caring for the animals. You should see the amount I have now. He's been waiting years for this. Now he can't stop smiling. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. Family life and pastry recipes probably aren't the most interesting topics for such a historic reunion. Of course I do. Everything sounds good when I say it. No. <sighs> Fine. With a little bit of spittle, chew your vittles, then play skittles. Congratulations, I think I've sprained my tongue. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. I'm glad you two have each other. Hells, I'd be almost tempted to come along if you'd have me. Perhaps if your adventures ever lead you out of Avernus permanently. Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Don't be a stranger. I've missed wine. Had to resort to making my own cider recently, which 
isn't bad, don't get me wrong. But a girl can't have fun with apples alone. <laughs> you might be onto something there, though the name might need work. Somehow it sounds rude, even though I know otherwise. I suppose it's worth a try. It might keep the animals amused for a while. Don't be a stranger. You know, I never really imagined Withers as much of a party thrower. But then again, I suppose our camps weren't taking care of themselves while we were out gallivanting, were they? There's hidden depths in that lovable husk. Indeed. Healing can only do so much. We'd likely be dead somewhere out in the wilderness if not for him. Oh no, that's all part of the fun. You know me. I can't resist a bit of mystery. Oh, twist my arm and break it, why don't you? Hit the spot. Don't be a stranger. I hope the sun takes its time slipping through the hourglass. I don't want tonight to end too soon. Oh, twist my arm and break it, why don't you? Hit the spot. Don't be a stranger. I hope the sun takes its time slipping through the hourglass. I don't want tonight to end too soon. Always. I might not let go one of these times. Don't be a stranger. I hope the sun takes its time slipping through the hourglass. I don't want tonight to end too soon. Well, seeing as you asked so politely, Never gets old. Don't be a stranger. Be careful to not overindulge tonight, lest I lose control and slip into bear form. We should make this a tradition. Meet up every year. Oh, twist my arm and break it, why don't you? Never gets old. Don't be a stranger. This has a keen eye for a nice vintage. Why were we scrounging in barrels and crates for supplies when he could source these? God, I remember one evening when we had to eat 14 apples, some fish heads, and a stale loaf of bread just to get by.
night without care. No worry, no obligation. It's been too long. We should make this a tradition. Meet up every year. Oh, twist my arm and break it, why don't you? Never gets old. Don't... My, you'll make the others jealous if you spend much more time with me. Well, seeing as you asked so politely, Hit the spot. Don't be a stranger. My, you'll make the others jealous if you spend much more time with me. Never gets old. Don't be a stranger. What? I hope the sun takes its time slipping through the hourglass. I don't want tonight to end too soon. Come here. I might not let go one of these times. Don't be a... I hope the sun takes its time slipping through the hourglass. I don't want tonight to end too soon. Well, seeing as you asked so politely... Never gets old. Don't be a stranger. Good song, good company, good wine. I wish it could not. <laughs> he looks coyly at the ground, suddenly shy. He snaps the air and wiggles. He's either miming fighting a many-limbed creature or dancing. It's unclear. He is, however, exhausted. He's had plenty of adventures without you. The joy in the Albert's eyes is clear. He longs for a home and would love to stay with Shadowheart. I hope the sun takes its time slipping through the hourglass. I don't want tonight to end too soon. Oh, hells, what? What another adventure is it? I'm quite content with my semi-retirement. The Albert. Of course I'll have him. If he wants to come with me, that is. I'd have offered sooner, but everything was a blur after the battle. I thought he'd gone to roam free. I'll have to find somewhere for him to sleep, of course. He'd get stuck in the door of my cottage. Maybe the barn. 
It's as warm as anywhere, as long as he gets along with Daphne. Well, now I'm going to have to do that, aren't I? You're a bad influence, you know. I can picture the look on my parents' faces already. Come here. That hit the spot. This is only the beginning. I thought you would be. Now, divine as my company undoubtedly is, I have an eternity to catch up with you. A luxury few others at this party possess. Don't let me deprive them of your company, or mine, for that matter. It's not every day a newborn god shows up to the reunion. <laughs> ah, the material plane. Almost forgotten what it's like. Don't waste a step. What's up for discussion? Tenterhook, so you could make a dramatic entrance, is it? Starting to wonder if you'd show up. In all likelihood, it will be. But we mustn't let that stop us. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. I suppose I do, don't I? I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I had no doubt, but I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. I found a little cottage. Abandoned, half ruined. There's a lot of such places to be found, thanks to the Absolute's armies. I've been making it my own. I feel the same, honestly. The woman in the mirror looks unfamiliar sometimes, but she looks happy. And she has plenty of company as well. Four dogs, eight cats, nine chickens, six pigeons, four sheep, a milk cow named Daphne, a squirrel who's far too clever for her own good, 
and a wolf cub I found orphaned in some woods. He's just a frightened little pup. He has no idea what he'll grow up to be. And maybe, with me there to guide him, who knows what he'll become. It's amazing what can happen with the right nurturing. I've called him Buttons, because he has different colored eyes like buttons on a ragdoll. The pain still comes from time to time, but... But I won't let her torment me. I won't let her take any more from me. She's had more than enough already. Now she can dwell in her beloved darkness, ignored. Sorry. I found that happiness is an active thing. You have to fight for it every day, like you would a battle. I won't give her the satisfaction ever again. Healing. Learning to live again. It's hard to think of all that was robbed from them, but they're intent on making every day count for double. My mother's mind still drifts every now and again, but she has more good days than not so good days. She taught me her recipe for apple and plum pie, and when I tasted it, I actually remembered it from when I was a little girl. Some things can't be taken from you, it seems. Father's making himself useful, helping me fix up the cottage and caring for the animals. His wolf form is very useful in helping Buttons to acclimatize. I think part of him wishes I'd ended up as a lycanthrope as well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. <laughs> Family life and pastry recipes probably aren't the most interesting topics for such a historic reunion. Of course I do. Everything sounds good when I say it. Ugh, oh, the latrine's overflowing again. Watch your step. Oh, I truly hope you're not speaking from experience. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. I'm glad you two have each other. Hells, I'd be almost tempted to come along if you'd have me. Perhaps if your adventures ever lead you out of Avernus permanently. Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Don't be a stranger. <sighs> I've missed wine. Had to resort to making my own cider recently, which isn't bad, don't get me wrong. But a girl can't have fun with apples alone. Oh, hell's what? What another adventure is it? I'm quite content with my semi-retirement. The owlbear! The owlbear! Of course I'll have him! If he wants to come with me, that is. I'd have offered sooner, but everything was a blur after the battle. I thought he'd gone to roam free. I'll have to find somewhere for him to sleep, of course. He'd get stuck in the door of my cottage. Maybe the barn. It's as warm as anywhere, as long as he gets along with Daphne. Well, that's half reassuring. Good thing we've got plenty of wild game around. I can picture the look on my parents' faces already. Come here. Hmm. 
never gets old. Don't be a stranger. This is only the beginning. Don't worry. The ambition you hold will never be too far from my sights. Pursue your dreams and keep me in your prayers, and who knows? They might just get answered. Ah, the material plane. <laughs> I've almost forgotten what it's like. Another step forward. There you are. Keeping us all on tenterhook so you can make a dramatic entrance, is it? Just what I need. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Quite powerful for a fellow content to loiter in our camp the whole time, isn't he? I wonder if he'll ever reveal what he's been up to exactly. But no matter. If Wither's wily ways are what it takes to have you here with us, then I'm all for it. Well, come here, will you? It's been forever. Feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Same. In fact, I found a nice meadow not far from where I live now. Every now and again, I'll spend the night there. For old time's sake. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. Oh, don't be such a grumpy rosé. Being sentimental is what parties are for. Give it some time. You'll loosen up as the night progresses. Must I? I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. Playing it coy, are we? Sounds like a girl I used to know. But you're entitled to your secrets. At least until the festivities loosen your tongue a bit. Hopefully, these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. Don't remind me. Someone's always got somewhere else to be. But let's do our best all the same. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. I found a little cottage. Abandoned, half ruined. There's a lot of such places to be found, thanks to the Absolute's armies. Sedate is exactly what I've needed. It's harder than I'd expected, actually. I'll never take vegetables for granted after all the effort it's taken to grow a few, but still. It's mine. Well, mine and the lodgers. Four dogs, eight cats, nine chickens, six pigeons, four sheep, a milk cow named Daphne, a squirrel who's far too clever for her own good, and a wolf cub I found orphaned in some woods. Oh, like a barn. I bathed three times before tonight just to be safe and cleared out the apothecaries of rose water and incense healing something's far <laughs> sorry i'm rambling 
family life and pastry recipes probably aren't the most interesting topics for such a historic reunion. Of course I do. Everything sounds good when I say it. I do. Oh, hell's what? What another adventure is it? The Albert. The Albert. Of course. I'll have to find somewhere for him to sleep, of course. He'd get stuck in the door of my cottage. Maybe the barn. It's as warm as anywhere as long as he gets along with Daphne. I suppose you're right. He's come a long way since he first wandered into our camp. We all have. I can picture the look on my parents' faces already. This is only the beginning. I believed in supposed. Ah, the material plane. <laughs> I've almost forgotten what it's like. These boots have seen everything. The private word would be nice. Zuna won't know where the fuck we went! Ha! Oh man, I can't wait to say hi to everyone. Look at them, the beaut! Rest up, soldier. My tin can will be alright for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in. Oh, hey, before I. Tenterhook, so you can make a dramatic entrance, is it? Starting to wonder if you'd show up. <laughs> you can say that with a straight face after all the times I had to come to your aid. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. I'm not entirely sure I'd agree. In fact, I found a nice meadow not far from where I live now. Every now and again, I'll spend the night there. For old time's sake. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I had no doubt, but I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. Must I? I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. I'm glad. Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. I found a little cottage. Abandoned. Half ruined. There's a lot of such places to be found thanks to the Absolute's armies. I've been... It's harder work than I'd expected. Four dogs, eight cats, nine chickens, six... I've called him Buttons. Because he has different colours. Don't be a... Oh. <sighs> I've missed wine. Had to resort to making my own cider recently, which... I suppose it's worth a try. <laughs> you might be onto some. Oh, hell's what? The Albert. This is only the beginning. Ah, 
The material plane. <laughs> I've almost forgotten what it's like. On my mind. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Honestly, so have I. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. Hmm. You feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. No offence intended. Quite the contrary, in fact. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I found a little cottage. Abandoned, half ruined. There's a lot of such places to be found, thanks to the Absolute's armies. I feel the same, honestly. Four dogs, eight cats, nine chicken. I've had to do far... Just... Don't tell House in that, or he healing. Something's far... <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. Family life and pastry recipes probably aren't the most interesting topics for such a historic reunion. As am I. And no small bit surprised, also. Part of me is afraid I'll wake up from the dream and find myself back in the wilds, or worse, at the cloister. But no, it's real. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. And hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling to... Don't be a stranger. This is only the beginning. Pursue you. Ah, the material. There you are. Keeping us all on tenterhook so you could make a dramatic entrance, is it? Starting to wonder if you'd show up. You could find work as a jester, if you stumble upon a noble with more gold than taste. Well, come here, will you? It's been forever. Hmm. You feel a little more... substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Filled out and healthy is what I was going for. Don't tell me you miss living off whatever scraps we found in crates and barrels. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I had no doubt. But I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. I found a little cottage. Abandoned, half ruined. There's a lot of such places to be found, thanks to the absolute. Sedate is exactly... Four dogs, eight cats. I've called him Buttons. Some... <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. Family life and pastry recipes probably aren't the most interesting topics for such a historic reunion. I couldn't have said it better myself. Just be sure to take your own advice whenever you can. 
You found it. I'm joking. Of course, I'm glad. Hopefully, these meetups will become a regular. Don't. After all, we've faced down bigger threats. Don't be. <sighs> I've missed wine. As always. <sighs> that hit the spot. Oh, hell's what? Of course. I'll have to find somewhere for him to sleep, of course. I can picture the look on my parents. Don't be a...